Hello, everyone. Today, we'll be covering a very important topic for our GS mains paper two. Nelson Mandela once said that to deny people of their basic human rights is to deny the very humanity. Taking the same philosophy forward, we will be dealing with a very less talk topic, but at the same time, a very important topic, which is human trafficking. We will be covering all the aspects, all the dimensions of this topic, starting from the definition of it to the solutions of human trafficking. So I will be uh, dividing my lecture into five parts today. The co context of this uh, topic as to why are we reading it. Then we will come to the definitional part of it. Then uh, we will uh, see the causes of it, causes of human uh, trafficking. Then we will see a very important report called Trafficking, uh, Trafficking uh, in Person Bill 2021. We'll be covering all the dimensions of it. And lastly, we will be talking about the solutions or the way forward of it. So without wasting any time, let's just directly get into it. So first, as I've told you that we will be dealing with the very first part, that is the contextual part, as to why we took this topic today. So the context of this topic is that uh, the Office of United Nations High Commissioner for, U for Human Rights recently warned the world that after this pandemic or the COVID-19 pandemic would lead to a major increase in human trafficking. Also, our parliament has quoted some of the figures wherein it said that the trafficking cases uh, you know, the conviction in the trafficking cases has been declining, which has dropped from 27.8% in 2016 to 10.6% in 2020, which is a great cause of a concern. So this was precisely the context as to why are we reading human trafficking. Now coming to our next part, that is the definitional part, ki human trafficking hota kya hai. So human trafficking basically, or in a very simple word, it is just a organized criminal activity wherein human beings are, you know, human being, beings are treated as a possessions to be exploited, you know, by being a, Either, either they put them into the sexual exploitation or forced labor or prostitution and that, that is how they exploit them. This is in simple words is human trafficking. As it is mentioned here also that human trafficking is what is trapping people through the use of violence. It could be through different uh, methods. It could be through violence, deception, coercion. It could be exploitation. And why do they do it? Because to gain either financial gains or the personal gains from the people. And there can be many different forms of these exploitation, including being forced into the sex sexual exploitation, like I've told you. Or majorly, the cases we get, they get from sexual exploitation ke hi milte hai when we talk about human trafficking per se. Next could be the labor. It is also mentioned in our constitution, Article 23, forced labor, it talks about. Then begging could be the one when they force, uh, especially the children, into the begging crime. Then uh, growing cannabis or dealing with the drugs, also the domestic servitude. Marriage could be the one. And organ removal is also something which the definition talks about. So as of now, we've talked about the context as to why are we reading it. Because United Nations High Commissioner for Human Rights has uh, told that after this pandemic, the trafficking cases has uh, increased. Also, our parliament has also quoted some of the figures regarding uh, regarding the conviction, which has declined. We have then seen the human trafficking or definition. Now, what trafficking really means? Trafficking actually, uh, it means the same which we have just talked, that when girls, especially the girls and the women, though men's and the transgenders are also exploited, they are also sexually exploited, but majorly around 90% women and girls are only sexually exploited. So they're groomed and they're forced into the sexual exploitation. Even the men, uh, even uh, like I told you, the men's are also uh, sexually exploited, exploited. But, and how do they do it? The men tricked into accepting risky job offers and trap into forced labor in building sites, farms, and factories. Okay? This is how they do it. This, this important point I would like to make you understand, which is people don't have to be transported across borders for trafficking. 
okay generally when we hear about the word called uh, human trafficking we think that it is only happening through the cross border transportation no it can also happen within the country inside the country so there are two ways either it can happen across the border or within the country so human trafficking does not limit it itself to you know just to uh, the the cross border exploitation or so the cross border exchange of people for trafficking but also it also includes the trafficking which is happening inside the country okay so people don't have to be transported across borders for trafficking to take place in fact transporting or moving the victims does not define trafficking right it can take place within a single country also like i have mentioned and even within a single community as well right i hope the definition is clear to you as to what human trafficking is okay these this is a graph uh, given here wherein it is showing the number of prosecuted cases and the conviction uh, cases and the graph is showing the number is constantly declining which means the prosec the uh, the prosecution the prosecution as well as the conviction cases are declining which is again a great cause of concern because prosecution or conviction agar properly nahi hoga to how can we stop this menace of human trafficking all right moving ahead is certain reports and statistics on human trafficking let's just cover these uh, uh, statistics or these reports so united nation office of drug and crime it says that most of the victims jo ki globally detect hue hain are trafficked for what are trafficked for sexual exploitation although there are other uh, they are trafficked for other purposes as well like for example uh, forced labor porn, shooting pornography and etc but sexually uh, sexual exploitation is the major cause and i have also discussed it with you earlier in the previous slides that 90% of the girls only are trafficked uh, especially for the sexual exploitation and it is also mentioned here that 90% of the detected victims of sexual exploitation are women and the girls right and it is not just happening in the african countries but also in the central asian and the south asian countries where forced labor and sexual exploitation are being detected so these are some of the reports and the datas which is talking about the human trafficking now a very important topic regarding our own country india's perception or india's reports or india's situation regarding any topic we are preparing for our examination is really really important because they might ask you this direct question as to explain this with respect to india okay or what is india's take on this or what is india's data on this so you must prepare this thing this this uh, you know the perception of india or the reports of india or what is india uh, or the india stand on any particular issue for our mains examination especially so what is the situation in india uh, human trafficking ki jo situation hai india mein in our country is it is most prevailing the trafficking is most prevailing in west bengal i'll tell you what happens in west bengal there are two ways of human trafficking there are two sources actually of human trafficking one is within the country and second is across borders how across borders like for example there are international borders west bengal se hame pata hai ki bangladesh is attached so bangladesh uh, bangladesh shares nearly 2220 kilometers of land borders with west bengal and 260 kilometers of riverine border with west bengal okay so and also uh, the bangladesh and the west bengal border is nearly unfenced and it is very porous making highly vulnerable uh, this this whole area towards the human trafficking and not just the human trafficking but also the trafficking of drugs of fake currencies and a lot more so this is the issue which is with west bengal but apart from that uh, chatisgarh and jharkhand and assam is also facing the same kind of problem but west bengal is something we really need to you know uh, the state we really need to uh, focus upon in terms of human trafficking and we really need to do our uh, do you know things to stop human trafficking here because highest number of trafficking is happening here only right up next we have certain international conventions jo ki india ne bhi implement 
किए हैं अगेन अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट आई एम टेलिंग यू जहाँ पर भी ये आ जाता है दैट दीज आर द पॉइंट्स इंडिया हैज़ इम्प्लीमेंटेड और दीज आर द स्टेप्स इंडिया हैज़ टेकन और दीज आर द पॉलिसीज और प्रोविजन इंडिया हैज़ मेड वो चीज़ें बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट हो जाती हैं हमारे एग्जाम के लिए स्पेशली आई एम नॉट सेंग दैट द इंटरनेशनल कन्वेंशन और इंटरनेशनल थिंग्स आर नॉट इंपॉर्टेंट दे आर ऑल्सो इंपॉर्टेंट बट इंडिया इंडिया वाले जो पॉइंट्स होते हैं दे आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट राइट सो द फर्स्ट कन्वेंशन इज यूनाइटेड नेशंस कन्वेंशन वेर इन यूनाइटेड नेशन कन्वेंशन ऑन ट्रांस नेशनल ऑर्गेनाइज क्राइम्स विच हैज़ एज वन ऑफ इट्स प्रोटोकॉल प्रिवेंशन उसमें ये कहता है कि this this uh, you know this convention says suppression and punishment of the trafficking persons particularly women and children so this convention india has signed which talks about the suppression and the punishment of trafficking especially regarding the women and the children next convention which india has signed is united nation office on drugs and crimes which is responsible for implementing the protocol or this protocol what it says it actually helps to uh, states with drafting laws creating comprehensive national anti trafficking strategies and assisting with resources to implement them aur isi ka ek campaign hai uh, united nations office on drug and crime ka hi ek campaign hai which we call as blue heart campaign what it says it basically ek this is an anti trafficking program theek hai I've told you it has been started by United Nation Office, uh, Office on Drugs and Crime only, regarding what regarding anti-trafficking program and India has implemented this also. So, so these are certain points you can jot them down so that you can quote in your mains examination the international conventions or the treaties we have signed for trafficking, right? Apart from this, there are SAC conventions also. ठीक है सात कंट्रीज वी ऑल नो उसी के कन्वेंशन रिगार्डिंग द एंटी ट्रैफिकिंग वी हैव साइंड लाइक फॉर एग्जांपल इंडिया हैज रैटिफाइड द सात कन्वेंशन ऑन प्रिवेंशन एंड कंबाटिंग ट्रैफिकिंग इन वुमेन एंड चिल्ड्रन फॉर प्रोस्टिट्यूशन दिस इज समथिंग वी हैव साइंड अपार्ट फ्रॉम दिस देर आर मेनी बायोलैट्रल मैकेनिज्म ऑल्सो वी हैव साइंड विद डिफरेंट डिफरेंट कंट्रीज लाइक फॉर एग्जाम्पल विद बांग्लादेश विद म्यांमार वी हैव साइंड दीज बायोलैट्रल ट्रीटीज विद बायोलैट्रल अग्रीमेंट्स टू स्टॉप दी ह्यूमन ट्रैफिकिंग ऑल राइट अप नेक्स्ट वी हैव अनदर Uh, agreement which is which we call MOU memorandum of understanding which is between India and Bangladesh as i've told you which says that there will be an cooperation between the two countries or a bilateral cooperation for prevention of human trafficking in women children their rescue will be there their recovery will be there their repatriation will be there repatriation matlab jahan se un logo ko hum traffic karke laaye hain unko apni jagah par safely wapas pahunchana is repatriation repatriation and reintegration of the victims of the trafficking and it was signed in 2015 so these are some of the bilateral conventions where india is involved and is and hence is important for our exam right next is universal declaration for human rights which was which was uh, established in 1948 this uh, establishes the right of every human to live with dignity and prohibits slavery halanki ye ek non binding declaration hai but still since it belongs to a universal declaration of human right it is important we can definitely remember this point next and very important very talked issue or the very talked topic uh, this is not a issue sorry it, it's in topic only sustainable development goals which was uh, which came or which established in 2015 by 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 unga unga is united nations general assembly ठीक है एंड दीज गॉड इस्टेब्लिश और केम इन ट्वेंटी फिफ्टीन और इनका एम बेसिकली था सो दे वर सेवेंटीन एस डी जी गोल्स वी ऑल नो एंड दे वर यू नो लिस्ट डाउन एंड दे वर एम टू बी अचीव बाय ट्वेंटी थर्टी राइट ट्वेंटी थर्टी तक वी हैव टू कंप्लीट दैम it was launched by united nation general assembly in 2015 there were 17 total goals in it but today we have to strict ourselves with 
only those goals which talks about the human trafficking or the related provisions so goal number 5 it says achieve gender equality only when there will be a gender equality women that be will be at par with men and there will be a gender equality and we can at some level or at some point we can help you know prohibiting the anti trafficking so gender equality is something which is very important and we need to empower all women and girls this is what a um, goal number 5 of sdg sustainable development goals talks about next goal is goal number 8 which says promote sustained inclusive and sustainable economic growth full and productive employment so here the word employment i guess is very important and decent work for all decent work for all i think this word all is very important so we need to provide the sustainable employment to everybody and a decent work for all so that they can earn their livelihood and can you know come out of that vicious circle of poverty because this is one of the root causes of uh, you know getting into the trap of uh, human trafficking because people do not have money they are trapped into the vicious circle of poverty so in order to came, come out of it they generally adopt this path of getting into the trafficking or especially the girls they prefer the path of uh, all of the sexual exploitation and all of those things so if but if they have decent employment if they have work they won't be getting trapped into all of this right next goal is goal number 16 which talks about promote peaceful and inclusive societies for sustainable development it also talks about providing access to justice for all and build effective accountable effective accountable and inclusive institutions at all level mind you ye wale jo words hote hain effective accountable transparent responsive inclusive institutional comprehensive you know so these words are really important hamare mains exam mein answer likhte samay ye words bahut handy ho jate hain so make sure that you always have a list of such words and such conclusions and such introductions for uh, you know to uh, get ready to be prepared for your mains answer writing so these are the goals these are the three goals uh which talked about human trafficking so uh till now we have talked about what we have talked about certain conventions certain international conventions theek hai and also the sustainable development goals wherein we talked about three precise goals which talks about stopping or helping the menace of uh you know helping to stop the menace of anti uh, this human trafficking up next we have causes like i've told you that i'll be dividing my today's lecture into three parts the two we are already done with the context of the topic and what the context and the definition part we are done with now third is the cause of trafficking what are the causes of trafficking we know that um you know this human trafficking disproportionately impacts the marginalized community across the world why because they do not have money they do not have a legal status they do not have any status for that matter in societies and that is how they get trapped into the circle of human trafficking so the only uh, uh, root cause i mean not the only root cause there are list of root causes we will be dealing with right now the first one and the very important one the most important one is poverty because of this only this is the major cause behind all of these trafficking so it is a cause behind child trafficking not just child trafficking but also the other trafficking is too some parents sell, sell their children not just for the money but also in a hope that their children will escape the situation of chronic poverty and move to a place where they will have a better life and more opportunities but actually nothing like that happens they i mean rarely it happens jo wo imagine karte hain aur jo wo plan karte hain ki shayad aisa ho jayega our children will come out of the poverty with this chronic poverty but rarely it happens it does not happen okay the second would be the second cause is the social and the cultural practices of devaluing the women and the girls in our society thus making women disproportionately vulnerable to the trafficking this is talking about our society and our culture jahan par hum zyada value nahi karte hain women or girls ko and hence we force them into this kind of uh, th things third would be the porous nature of the border i have already talked about 
this in our west bengal wala slide that the uh, the boundaries of or you know yeah the boundaries or the border border of uh, west bengal and bangladesh is very porous making the whole area very vulnerable for human trafficking so exactly it is talking about the same thing that porous nature of the borders example we have in front of us west bengal and bangladesh corrupt government officials involvement of international organized criminal groups in network and limited capacity of or commitment by immigration and law enforcement officers to control borders so these are some of the issues which cause which are causing which is causing the human trafficking next cause is migration okay so we know that when somebody is migrated from uh, especially the poor people when they migrate from one place to another they barely get any status in the society they they do not have any legal status they do not have any any kind of status for that matter and since they do not have any status the victims uh, you know which have been moved from another state so the region of the country they basically always you know they they lack so many opportunities they lack uh, they lack uh, their living only so this is what migration talks about the desire of potential victim to migrate is exploited by offenders to recruit and gain initial control and cooperation only to be replaced by more coercive measure once the victim have been moved to another state ठीक है उसको किसी ना किसी तरह से अगर एक विक्टिम दूसरे स्टेट में शिफ्ट हो जाता है तो किसी ना किसी तरह से उसके साथ फ्रॉड करके पीपल ट्राई टू यू नो एक्सट्रैक्ट गेन आउट ऑफ हिम व्हिच मे नॉट ऑलवेज बी वन टू व्हिच दे हैड इंटेंडेड टू माइग्रेट द पीपल ऑफ कोर्स नो बडी इंटेंड्स और नो बडी प्लान्स टू माइग्रेट फॉर फॉर ह्यूमन ट्रैफिकिंग दे ऑलवेज प्लान फॉर बेटर लिविंग बट वॉट हैपन्स इज दिस सम ऑफ द कॉमन रीजन बिहाइंड द माइग्रेशन आर poverty of course when in a particular state people do not find you know enough resources to earn money they shift from one state to another to overcome their poverty or to you know have a better living standard oppression lack of human rights lack of social or economic opportunities in their own state and dangers from conflicts and instability and similar condition theek hai ye to hum aaye din dekhte hain we study these uh, conflicts and instability in different kind of states in the countries right in newspapers we we read them a lot so these were some of the causes leading to the human trafficking the next slide says that how do people get entangled in trafficking so it also has the similar points as that of the causes only because they are poor right they do not have that much knowledge they migrate so these are only some of the uh, things uh, as to why people get entangled in trafficking so you know they they get trapped because of poverty theek hai they 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 plan to escape the poverty but they get trapped into this menace of human trafficking then then if you talk about uh, the another aspect it talks about vulnerable people are often forced to take unimaginable risk to try and escape poverty or persecution accepting precarious job offers and make hazardous migration decisions often borrow money from traffickers in advance third point says when they arrive they find that work does not exist or conditions are completely different right and then they get trapped into it reliant on their traffickers and extremely vulnerable the documents are often taken away and they're forced to work until the debt is paid off and this is how they get into certain kind of works where they actually get trapped and unable to move out of it so what is the issue and what exactly is need to be done so issue to yahi hai that we need to have a robust mechanism comprehensive mechanism a stringent mechanism rather to stop this menace to stop this vicious problem of human trafficking what needs to be done again we need to frame legislation we need to frame strict laws and we really need to have an effective implementation of those laws so that is the uh, solution to it up next we have laws and legislations in india related to human trafficking now we have already covered the laws or the some of the conventions which we have uh, signed which our country has signed now we will be talking about certain legislations which we have made or done uh, regarding this human trafficking the first is article 23 clause 1 
Article 23, Article 24 of Constitution, you all must have heard of Article 23 says, Article 23 basically prohibits and criminalizes human trafficking and forced labor. So it criminalizes and prohibits human trafficking and forced labor right this is what article 23 says if we talk about article 24 i'm writing it here i hope it is visible to you all article 24 of our constitution says it basically prohibits and it is also to prohibit the uh, human trafficking only it prohibits employment of children below age 14 in any hazardous mine or factories etc right so article 23 says article 23 basically prohibits and criminalizes the human trafficking and forced labor article 24 of our constitution prohibits the employment of children below age 14 under any hazardous work or any hazardous mines or factories for that matter right these are the two articles our constitution has mentioned regarding the human trafficking to stop the human trafficking second is the immoral trafficking prevention act 1956 Okay, or uh, yeah, so this is basically, this was the first act we came up with to stop, uh, you know, to, to talk about human trafficking because there were no talks about uh, human trafficking only. This was the first act, Act of 56, known as ITPA Act. We came up with this legislation, which is the premier legislation for the prevention of trafficking for commercial sexual exploitation and this was the first act we came up with. This act also got amended in 1976 and then further in 1986, right? And uh, recently also in 2018 also we talked about certain provisions, certain legislations, but we pass not ho the Rajya Sabha. So that will, will be uh, we'll be dealing with it in, in a while in different slides. But yes, this is something we started with. 1956 ka act was the first act we started with uh, to deal with the problems of human trafficking. Next is Criminal Law Amendment Act 2013. So this has come into force wherein three, ex, uh, uh, Section 370 of IPC has been substituted with Section 370 and 370A of IPC, which provides what? Ki a comprehensive measure provide karta hai ye to counter the menace of human trafficking, including trafficking of children for exploitation in any form of, uh, in any form, including the physical exploitation or sexual exploitation, or slavery, or if you have to be servants in your home, or forced removal of organs. This is why we cases in this case. That is why we have included this also into the human trafficking. Right? Point number four says, the protection of children from sexual offenses, that is POXO Act, is a very, very important topic for our mains examination. Okay, coffee news may be hota, hence becomes hence directly becomes important for our exam. It is an act of 20, uh, 2012, which has come into force from 2012. And this is a special law. Hai. As the name only indicates, it prevents the children from the sexual exploitation. So it protects children from sexual abuse and exploitation. It provides precise definition for different form of sexual abuse. I'll tell you the word definition is really important here because when our definitions are not clear, especially in these type of cases, it would be very difficult to pass any judgment or to convict somebody. So the definition, the clear definitions are very important in certain cases. So, and POXO acts precisely did the same thing, that they define everything very precisely for different form of sexual abuse, be it, the, in, uh, be it penetrative or non-penetrative sexual assault, right? 
Next point is, there are other specific legislations enacted related, relating to trafficking in women and children, prohibition of child marriage act 2006 wala, bonded labor system abolition act 76 wala, and then child labor protection, uh, child labor prohibition and regulation act 1986, also transplantation of human organs 1994. And apart from specific sections in the IPC, example 372 and 373 dealing with the selling and buying of girls for the purpose of prostitution. So these are also some of the acts which talks about the human trafficking. You can jot them down, you can learn them and you can court in your mains examination. Apart from this sixth point and the last point says the state government has also enacted specific legislations to de deal with the issue. For example, Punjab state ne ek apna legislation pass kiya tha, which is called Punjab Prevention of Human Smuggling 2012. So these are some of the legislations okay, related to the human trafficking. Right. Up next, we have the very, uh, okay, there's another point, efforts by the government. So uh, Ministry of Women and Child uh, Welfare also, they also prevented, uh, they also prepared this bill. We will be talking about this bill in a very detailed manner because um, this is really, really important. This is the fourth pillar of our today's discussion. I've, if you remember, I initially talked about dividing my lecture into five parts. This is the fourth part of it. Trafficking in Person, Prevention, Care and Rehabilitation Bill 2021. A very, very important bill. You can expect a question out of it. Let's read this in a detailed manner. So, uh, before starting with this, I would like to take you to the history of it because Remember, whenever you prepare any topic, you must know the background of it. You must know the origin or the history of it as to where it has come and why, what is the need of it and why are we doing all of this? So the history or the background or the original origin, whatever you call it, is very important to understand any topic and you must start the topic with this thing only. Okay? background to understand the background, then we will clear the present topic. So the history or the background of it, so it all started in 1950. The story started in 1950, wherein there was a meeting in New York, New York of United Nations, wherein we, uh, uh, there was a declaration actually, and we signed that declaration, India signed that declaration, and the, de the declaration was in suppression of trafficking. It was a UN declaration. On suppression of trafficking. So it was a U United Nations declaration which we signed and the story started with 1950 only. Post this, after this, what we did is we came up with a legislation in 1946 which 56, which we have already discussed, the prevention of uh, immoral trafficking, okay? prevention of immoral trafficking, which is also known as PETA Act, PETA Act of 1956, right? And uh, this, I've told you that this got amended in 1976 and then in 1986. And then lately we talked about in, in 2018 also, but unfortunately this was only, uh, this couldn't be uh, passed by uh, Rajya Sabha. We only introduced into the Lok Sabha, but we did not introduce, in, uh, this only got you know passed from the Lok Sabha, but we did not introduce only into the Rajya Sabha. So this was of no use basically, but yes, we must remember about PETA, about this year 1956, and how the story started. It started with 1950, then we came up with the legislation in 1956 called PETA Act. And then in 2018 also we talked about it, but we could not come to any conclusion regarding that. And now in 2021, we are talking about this bill called Trafficking in Persons Prevention, Care and Rehabilitation Bill 2021, a very important bill. Now I hope that the background or the origin is clear to you. And now we will be proceeding with the highlights of the bill. So the highlight says the bill creates law for investigation of all three, all types of trafficking and rescue, 
protection and rehabilitation of the trafficked victims. Remember, rehabilitation is also equally important because once we rescue them, we need to provide them a counseling or, a, or we need to put them into rehab centers so that their mental health could also be improved. Second highlight of the bill says, it provides for the establishment of investigation and rehab authorities at the district level, at the state level, and at the national level. The district level is very important because whatever things implement, hoti hai, unko root level pe implement karne ke liye, we, need, we always need the district authorities or the panchayat, or the municipalities to, you know, to implement things at the grassroots level. Only then things will be in place. Anti-trafficking units will be established anti-trafficking ATUs will be established and we are, our government is increasing the number of ATUs also. So this will be established to rescue the victims and investigate cases of trafficking. Then rehabilitation committees will also provide the care and rehab to the rescued victims. This is the another provision of the bill. Third uh, point of the bill says, now this bill has classified trafficking as aggravated form of trafficking. I'll be explaining this word aggravated in a while. There is a proper definition and the proper clauses of aggra aggravated uh, trafficking will be coming on this in the next slide. So this include trafficking of forced labor. What uh, aggravated includes forced labor, bearing children, begging, and for inducing early sexual maturity, you know, by uh, uh, inducing them with hormones, various kind of hormones which induces the sexual, early sexual maturity in girls. Next point says, the bill sets out penalties for several offenses connected with trafficking and in most cases, the penalties set out are higher than punishments provided under prevailing laws. So, up till now, we have laws that we have more stringent penalties, uh, you know, we have decided for them. Jobi up the prevailing laws, we have decided to put them under more stringent punishments. So highlights, abhi takki jo highlights, the points we've read was it will be including all types of trafficking. The bill will be including all types of trafficking, rescue protection and rehab. We also talked about ATU units, which will be setting up at all the district, states and national level. And then we talked about the aggravated trafficking, which we will next slide in detail. Mein right? Up next, we have features of the bill. So the features of the bill includes two, three major things. The first would be the definition of trafficking. I'll tell you, to define the word or to define any law is really, really important for the judgments to happen, you know, uh, uh, very uh, soon and in a better way. So definition, definitional part is very important, right? Because uh, you must have seen that when cases file hote hai, they do not file these cases under trafficking only because they file it into other, you know, some under some other uh, as some other cases, but they do not file these cases as human trafficking because the definition is not clear. So that confusion is there. So to avoid certain confusions, a broad definition is given, very broad definition given. And in fact, in this bill, uh, the boundaries of the bill has really, you know, we have really widened the boundaries of the bill so that there, there stays no confusion between, especially, uh, especially in the definitional part of it, so that the judgments could be better. So the definition of trafficking, the bill defines trafficking to mean, remember these words, all of them are really important, recruitment, transportation, harboring, transfer, receipt of person for exploitation, by using certain means. These means are the use of, and these means could be uh, threat, force, abduction, fraud, deception, abuse of power, and through indu inducement. Exploitation includes physical. The definition also includes, it is not just the sexual exploitation. It is also, it could also be the physical exploitation, sexual exploitation, slavery is also included in this, and removal of organs. So this is the, definition of trafficking which this bill which this bill talked about next like i was telling you ki aggravated trafficking ko hum thodi der mein deal karenge iska bhi ek proper definition they have provided and the definition includes ki aggravated mein jo 
फॉर्म्स आएंगी फॉर्म्स ऑफ ट्रैफिकिंग आएंगी एग्रोवेटेड मतलब अ हायर लेवल ऑफ यू नो अ हायर लेवल ऑफ समथिंग इज कॉल्ड एग्रोवेटेड सो व्हाट आर द ट्रैफिकिंग व्हाट आर द टाइप्स ऑफ ट्रैफिकिंग इंक्लूडिंग इन द इंक्लूडेड इन द एग्रोवेटेड द फर्स्ट इज फोर्स्ड लेबर सो इफ इट इज अ फोर्स्ड लेबर वी विल कैटेगराइज इन द aggravated form of human trafficking the second would be bearing children inducing early sexual maturity by administering chemical substances or hormones begging will also be included in the aggravated form of human trafficking right and the punishment is also will be higher than the normal trafficking to the aggravated forms of trafficking right next is rescue and investigation we've already talked that there will be anti trafficking units atus will be set up to rescue and to rescue the victims and to stop the menace of human trafficking so i hope this much is clear to you up next we have um, again uh, it's 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 basically again one of the preventive measures only which talks about that we'll be setting up national anti trafficking protection uh national anti -tra uh anti trafficking bureau only only which may take over investigation of cases referred to it by two or more states protection or rehabilitation bhi hum un logo ka karenge we will be provide providing them proper shelter proper food proper counseling proper mental health care so that they can be rehabilitated in a proper manner after get, getting rescued because only rescuing such people is not the uh only thing we have to do right that is like half the job done but we have to complete our job so we need to rehab them also we need to provide them a good rehabilitation therapy also so that they can be uh, put again to the mainstream society right apart from this uh, there will be special courts which should be designed and we need to really aware the judges we need to really sensitize the judges so that they can give better judgments and they can give you know the judgment said uh, as as early as they can right so for speedy trials and for better judgments we need to aware and sensitize our judges our courts as well right up next we have we are we uh, we're talking about penalties so uh, even the topic of uh, penalties has been broadened into this uh, this uh, 2021 wala bill and about the penalties it says that jitne bhi offenses honge they will be cognizable cognizable matlab police officers can arrest you without a arrest the of, uh, offender without a warrant and they will be non bailable bail bhi nahi milegi this is what the penalty talks about and they also talks about the death penalty agar bahut hi koi aggravated form ka human trafficking hai to this provision this bill uh, trafficking and person 2021 bill also talks about the death penalty so पेनल्टीज को भी काफी ज्यादा स्ट्रिंजेंट बनाया गया है विच आई थिंक इज अ गुड पार्ट इज अ वेरी कमेंडेबल जॉब राइट अपार्ट फ्रॉम दिस आई थिंक या वी आर डन विद वी आर डन विद द बिल नाउ वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग सर्टन विल बी डिस्कसिंग ब्रीफली अबाउट द इशूज ऑफ द बिल सो द इशूज ऑफ द बिल वी वी ऑल नो दैट टू वैल्यू you know to value any uh, kind of bill or any kind of legislation we need to have a effective implementation of it until that is done unless uh, unless that is done we cannot really say that this bill was a good one because the effective implementation is something which is really really important and this is exactly this is precisely the issue with the bill that implementation is the problem there is a shortage of anti trafficking pol policies in india sabse pehle to policies ki hi kami hai aur uske baad agar hum policies bana bhi rahe hain to there is a short or there is a you know uh, a lack of implementation towards those policies so this is one issue with the bill and not just this bill i guess it is the issue with a lot of bills we pass in our parliament second is the bill prescribes stringent laws including death penalty सो इट सेज कि हाँ हमने डेथ पेनल्टी का प्रोविजन रख दिया है हमने बहुत ही स्ट्रिंजेंट पनिशमेंट्स रख दिए हैं बट वॉट द स्टैटिस्टिक्स एंड वॉट द फिगर्स सेज इट सेज दैट इट इज नॉट प्रूवन दैट सम स्ट्रिंजेंट लॉज हैव एनी डेटरेंट इफेक्ट ऑन क्राइम ये बोल रहा है कि आज तक ऐसा प्रूफ नहीं हुआ है कि अगर आपने स्ट्रिंजेंट लॉज रख स्ट्रिंजेंट पनिशमेंट्स रख दिए हैं तो वो क्राइम को कम कर रहा है राइट सो दिस इज वन ऑफ द फैक्ट इट इज टॉकिंग अबाउट 
Next is low convention convection rate and lengthy trials. I have just talked about this point that we need to sensitize and aware our courts and judges so that they can be a speedy trials. Because again, this is one of the problems that we have lengthy trials in our courts. So conviction rate is less. Conviction 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 is Conviction rate is very low and has been declining steadily. And next is Trials are very lengthy. There, there are 140 acquittals and only 38 conviction. Sif 38 conviction hoye 2019 ka ye data hai according to the government. This provides to a failure of investigation and cannot be solved by the draft bill's provision that accused traffickers must be presumed guilty unless they can be proof. Uh, they can prove the contrary. Further, the trials hote hain they can drag for years. With victims sometimes withdrawing their complaints after being intimidated by the traffickers. Traffickers khudi unko dhamka dete hain, unko intimidate kar dete hain. And what the victims do, they take their uh, uh, their complaints back. So again, a very serious concern. We should be talking about this. We should be really implementing things at the proper time to. Uh, put things in place and for a better anti-human trafficking things. Now, the solutions. This is the last part of our topic, which includes the solutions or the steps taken by the government. Isme, sabse pehle, we will be talking about the anti-trafficking nodal cells. It is similar like those anti-trafficking units, wherein MHA, MHA in 2006 made uh, set up kiya tha as a focal point for communicating various decisions or follow up sake jitne bhi actions uh, liye gaye hain by the state government to combat this menace of human trafficking. So this was set up, this nodal cell was set up by Ministry of Home Affairs in, 20, uh, in 2006, right? So this was one of the steps taken by our government. Apart from that, judicial colloquium, we have already discussed about it, that we need to sensitize and aware our court so that they can be a speedy trial, right? Next, we have that we need to uh, generate an awareness through various kind of awareness programs or uh, workshops on combating trafficking in human beings, police officers, ko, judges, ko. even at a societal level, we need to aware people regarding this topic. Next is district level has been organized by government throughout the country or Ministry of Home Affairs Nehi under a scheme strengthening law enforcement response in India against trafficking person. Is me kafi zada logo ko train or unki capacity building ki baat kari hai or ye cheeze kari bhi hai in 270 district which is uh, a brilliant work. Next, again, uh, the same thing. We have talked about it already. Anti-human trafficking units we need to uh, establish. We are establishing them, though, but we need to uh, take them forward. So these are some of the steps taken by our government. Up next, we have, uh, though there are many steps our government is taking, but still we are facing certain issues. And what are those issues? And what more needs to be done? We'll be talking about them now. Now, issues. Issues actually, jo hamari government ya fir hamare NGOs ya fir hamari police ya judges ya jo bhi hain, jo face kar rahe hain, wo is basically jo bhi offenders hain. They're using technology, right? They're using fake accounts. So it is very, it is becoming very, very difficult to trace them. And and this is one of the major challenges that we are unable to trace people, right? This is the major issue we are facing, the NGOs and the institutions or our government is facing regarding human trafficking, right? So, uh, and also uh, a lot of a lot of time there's a uh, nexus between politician and other powerful people is also seen and which, which makes it all the more difficult to trace such crimes, right? And uh, similarly, rescue operations be difficult ho jate hai because there are so many fake accounts, fake documents. So, Chizo ko basically trace karna important ho jata hai. This is just the one point that it's very difficult to trace people because they're using technology, they're using fake things. So it makes it all the more difficult for us to track them. Up next, we have way forward. So as I have told you, that implementing thing is very important. Unless we uh, implement things, it is half the job done. We need to complete our jobs. We all know that. So the first way forward would be 
स्ट्रेंथनिंग द कैपेसिटी बिल्डिंग स्ट्रेंथनिंग द कैपेसिटी बिल्डिंग कैपेसिटी बिल्डिंग होता क्या है सो वेन वी यू नो एनहेंस द स्किल्स of a of a particular community be it a police be it a society the students or anybody it is it comes under the capacity building so we need to do that and this is one of the brilliant way forward or the solution to uh, uh, to you know limit this uh, trafficking thing so to enhance the capacity building of law enforcement agencies and generate awareness among them bahut sare jo uh, training of uh, trainers workshops on combating trafficking on in human beings for police officers so there should be a training for police officers for judges for at all the levels throughout the country judicial colloquium we have already talked about right police also should be proactive in booking the cases under trafficking provisions often cases are booked as kidnapping i have told you this maine aapko ye issue discuss kiya ki definition mein hamesha hame ek problem hoti hai to abhi is bill ne wo problem i guess सॉल्व कर दी है हमने एक बहुत ब्रॉड डेफिनेशन इसका वी हैव एड्रस्ड द इशू ऑफ डेफिनेशन इन दिस बिल क्योंकि इससे पहले क्या होता था डेफिनेशन वाज नॉट क्लियर एंड पुलिस जनरली यूज्ड टू फाइल द केसेस अंडर इधर किडनैपिंग और मिसिंग पर्सन ठीक है ह्यूमन ट्रैफिकिंग के अंडर वो केस ही नहीं फाइल करते थे ठीक है बट वी हैव already discussed and we have addressed this issue by uh, you know legislating this law called trafficking person 2021 which we have all uh, which we have just read next would be justice verma committee ne bhi ye recommend kiya tha that there should be in census of missing children hame hamare census hona bahut zaruri hai of missing children women girls and everybody so that we can trace them proper properly and at the right time the state government and the central government should work together to make data reporting more robust so there should be a comprehensive strategy and a good communication between different uh, levels of the government be it the state government the central government or the district government or the municipalities so that they can be a good reporting and a robust reporting could be done and uh, we also need to develop certain certain what's certain standard operating procedures taki cheeze time pe aur achhi tarike se ho sake apart from that we need to educate our children on we need to educate our children in our classes in our schools so that they can know about the definition of it and they can also be uh, they should also be taught about uh, the solutions of it okay so on the crime of trafficking by including the same in their school curriculum maybe ye ek topic hona chahiye taki bachcho ko bhi we can educate we can bring we can spread this awareness into them making people aware as a society that is if an individual comes across any suspicious activity he or should report the same to the concerned authorities so this is not just the responsibility of our government or the ngos or the other institution this is also our responsibility that if we see any suspicious activity around in our locality we need to report them right so human trafficking ek bahut hi sensitive topic hai and this is a a this this is a huge problem in our society but we as a society uh, can really come together to work towards it together and uh, whenever you see any suspicious activity make sure that you report such activities and you need to be a vigilant citizen so that you can also help our government our nation to get rid of these kind of menaces like human trafficking This was all about today's lecture. I hope it was helpful to you the topic of human trafficking. I hope everything every aspect of it is clear to you. Thank you so much.